Hello, good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning where you get your daily dose from me, your coach, here to help you get results, the results that you are looking for. It is a wonderful Wednesday morning. Yeah, that's right, Wednesday. I gotta get my days of the week right here. It's a wonderful Wednesday morning. The birds are singing outside. The dog's over there on her bed. Chickens around here somewhere. And we have a fantastic topic for you this morning. So before we get started, just a quick reminder, coffee shop shows coming up at nine o'clock this morning. Eric and I will be live from Old Town Coffee on Pratt Avenue in Huntsville, Alabama. If you would like to come by and join us, we love having it, that uh, live coffee shop audience uh, be there with us. You are welcome to come by, grab a cup of coffee and sit there and uh, not just watch. You typically get to interact while we're doing the show. So be on the lookout for that. If you are here for the first time, thank you, uh, you uh, for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. If you would, please leave me a comment down below. And let me know that you're here. That's whether you're new or whether you are a regular attender. Just leave that comment let me know. It does serve two purposes. One, it encourages me to let me know that you're here. But two, Facebook does us a favor. Some of the best stuff that goes on in the show happens in the comments afterwards. And if you leave a comment, then it'll let you know that somebody else has left one also. All right? So, be sure and leave that comment live or on the replay. Doesn't matter. Good morning, George. <laughs> yeah, coach me. And uh, good morning, Brooke. Thanks to you guys for being here. All right, so the topic today, Drowning in the Details was the title. So I, I had this question. I, you know, I want to look over here to make sure I kind of word this right. Um, I had a question from a, uh, a person I was working with, coaching with, and they said, how do you find or keep motivation when you're bogged down in the details? You know, especially when we are getting started when we're a one or two person shop, one and a half person shop, it's super easy to get caught up in the details. Happens to me all the time. All the time. At least now, you know, I'm, I'm a little cognizant of it and I try to remind myself, is this the best and highest use of your time? Could somebody else be doing this work? Um, which kind of leads me to my kind of standard admonition, do what you do best and hire the rest. Now, the common retort to that is, well, I don't have enough money to hire somebody to do it yet. Okay, fair enough. So now you have to get into really filtering out what you're working on to a point where you're asking yourself the question, is this going to produce the result I'm looking for? And in the, in the case of business owner, is this going to create revenue? Because you need to create revenue so you can afford to hire that person to take this off your plate. Right? At the end of the day, a business without customers is just a hobby. So you have to get some customers lined up, paying you some money so that you have cash flow, but it all in, and validating your product and your marketing and, and those sorts of things. All right? But it becomes, a, it becomes an exercise in filtering and focus, right? Yes, I had a great conversation last night at Brain Trust with someone on this particular topic. Long, I mean exhaustive list of everything they need to do to get their product ready to launch, right? And I just ask, how many of these things, as, as your customer said, are important? None of them. Not one of the items on that list did the customer say, yes, I have to have that or I'm not paying for it. I said, okay, so don't do, here's what I would suggest to you, don't do any of those, launch it, get it out, and then let them tell you what to work on next. Right? Get super focused and fill it to, to filter the activities that you're doing. We mistake, and, th and this is where this real question comes from finding and keeping motivation when you're bogged down in the details. We get bogged down in the details because we mistake activity 
for progress. We can be really busy and not going anywhere. My grandmother used to say you can rock in a rocking chair all day and work really hard at it and never move an inch. Unless, of course, you were in her rocking chair because it walked all over the room. Don't mistake activity for progress, right? Don't, don't fill your, your to-do list up with a bunch of stuff so that you convince yourself by crossing off those items on the to-do list, you're, you're convincing yourself, yourself that you're really getting something accomplished. What is the result that you need to create? In one example, the result I need to create, I need a customer to pay me for my product. Okay, so now that's the result. Let's back off of that. What do I absolutely positively have to do to get a customer to pay me for this product? When you start thinking in, thinking about it in that way and filter off the rest of those details, right? Those bells and whistles, the details are always going to be there. I can come back to them anytime. But this is what I have to do right now in order to get a customer to pay me some money. Now you've got a filter that you can use to go through your, uh, let's see if I have it here. I didn't bring it out here. So now you've got a filter that you can use to go through that daily activity list, filter out the ones that are actually critical to getting the result you want, in this case getting paid, and then just do those. So now you've backed off of the volume of details and you actually have some time to take a look at what needs to be done. That personally is pretty motivating to me. Uh, just to finish out the answer on this question, though, I'll give you one more piece. Maintaining motivation is about maintaining your eye on the prize. Right? Uh, that was a very short-term goal, get a customer to pay me money. Why? What is the long-term result? So I said a couple of days ago, you know, the the sum of your long, of your short term decisions is the long term result. If you add all of your short term decisions together, you get your long term result. So, what is that long term result? Remember why you started this journey in the first place, and whether that's taking a, a whiteboard marker and writing it on the mirror in the bathroom. Or tattooing it on your arm. I have a friend that's got hers tattooed on her arm right there. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is, keep that out in front of you. Remind yourself about that as often as possible. And not just remind yourself of the words. Right? Take some time. Doesn't have to be every day, but every couple of days at least once a week. Take some time. Sit down in a nice, quiet, relaxed place. Close your eyes and visualize yourself experiencing that result. If your result, if the result you're after is to have a company with 20 people helping 2,000 clients, okay, and they've got everything mastered, you just come in and kind of orchestrate uh, or, or direct lead the orchestra, right? What's that day going to be like? Sit back, close your eyes, think about that. What time do you get up? What do you have for breakfast? Do you get to go work out first? What's it like getting to the office? Is there an office? Are they spread out all over the place? Just visualize, live in that moment for a few minutes. Right? And when you do that, that helps that ultimate outcome become more real to you, up here and down here. Right? And then that's where you can... And then during the week, as you go back, whether it's your tattoo or written on the mirror, as you go back and remind yourself of that ultimate purpose, those feelings can come back and uh, give and recharge that motivation. But you got to fill that battery up every week or so, every couple of days. All right. All right. So that was a long one. Wow, long one for me. Uh, finding and keeping motivation when you're bogged down in the details. Filter out the details to just those that need to get done in order to create the result and spend some time living in the result in your mind. Visualize that at least once a week so that you can recharge that battery anytime the motivation battery is running low. So I've seen there's some other folks that have hopped in here. Good morning, Ramona, Casey, Jeremy, and Abby. Thank all of you for being here. I appreciate that so much. 
Uh, remember, if you're watching live or on the replay, leave a comment so I can say hi. We can continue the conversation in the comments. Uh, and if you are, or if you know, a business owner or leader that sometimes um, gets bogged down in the details, maybe is challenged remembering their motivation, share this video with them. Uh, just uh, click the share button down below, send it over to them in a message, put it on their timeline, whatever works for you, put it out on your timeline. Let's share this message with as many people as we can, because the more people who understand how to find and live in their motivation moment and can make that a reality, the better we're all going to be. All right? Again, Coffee Shop Show is at uh, 9 o'clock today. Be sure and tune in for that. You can find that right here uh, and in several different places around Facebook. Uh, and I think that's all. Hey, uh, one other favor. If you enjoy these conversations every morning, if you're getting value out of them, I would appreciate it also if you would support me by heading over to the shop. And I've got tiny coffee mugs, t-shirts, a couple of things like that there that you can pick up. It's tomrigsby.com slash shop. See if there's anything in there that you might benefit from having on your desk or wearing around every once in a while. That helps me support the work that I do here every morning. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you in about two hours on the Coffee Shop Show. You have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you then.